If you're anything like me, then you want more pets in the game, but you just want to AFK and don't know how. Or you may need some more GP, but you just work too much in real life. I'm going to show you four bosses in game to fully AFK for those pet hunters out there or those who need a little bit of extra cash. But first, a word from our affiliation, Raid, Shadow, uh, no, not these guys, uh, Manscaped. Do you need to shave? No, not Manscaped either. Ah, OSRS Bricks, a combination of Legos and RuneScape. With this, you are able to make the actual game come to life by building it. You can put some of these sick builds in your gaming room to display for yourself or for your friends. There's a huge selection to choose from, and the owner, Alan, has a passion for creativity and has been a RuneScape veteran, like most of us, for almost 20 years. He started this on his own and has blown it up to where old school RuneScape themselves have even recognized it. Be sure to check out the website, share with some friends, because I'm sure you guys are all going to love it. If you do plan on purchasing anything, be sure to use my code TKT at checkout for 5% off your entire order. Starting off with low cost equipment and low GP per hour, we're going to do some scurrious with full guffins. For this, you always need full guffins, a fire cape, the blood fury for extra healing, your best in slot blessing you can use, berserker ring, I have mine imbued, brimstone boots for some extra defense, you could switch them out for some prayer boots or some more um, strength bonus boots, borrows gloves. You can switch out a lot of these items for prayer bonus gear if you do feel like your prayer is draining too fast. I also brought four super combat potions, 16 super restores. You could bring prayer potions instead. Runes for high elking. The total setup is going to cost you 23 mil. Not bad considering you're doing this for the pet and less about the GP. I set my quick prayer to pray melee and I turned off my auto retaliate. Otherwise, your character will start hitting the rat spawns once Scurrius dies. And this video is really just to show you how AFK it can be. You do get hit by his attacks and the falling rocks, and sometimes the spawns do hit a, a 1 on you. But that's alright, your character should overheal no problem with the Blood Fury and the Guthans equipped. You could see my lowest point here, I got my HP to 47. Uh, in between fights, you can heal up or attack the rats to heal. And as you can see here, I did die at one point. I'm not sure what happened. I was really AFK, so I might have ran out of prayer or I just got unlucky with my hits and I wasn't healing. So I got 15 kills. It took me about 30 minutes. It's about 2 minutes per kill. So this is really AFK. It can net you about 30 kills an hour at that rate. And you're looking at about 300k GP an hour. Um, do be sure to do pay attention a little bit. He drops these rat spines, which you can use to create the rat bone weapons. And they're pretty effective against them. So if you actually want to fight them the proper way, I recommend you using these weapons. Next is KBD with a little bit higher risk because you do have to enter the wilderness to get here, but you won't be risking that much. This setup is going to cost you about 83 mil. You should bring the Dragon Hunter's Lance, Blood Fury, DFS, Proselyte Armor, which is prayer gear, uh, Net is Not Helm, Borrows Gloves, D Boots, a Blessing Ring, and a Cape of your choice. You should also bring an Antidote, Extended Anti Fire, Super Combats, Prayer Potions, Food, and a Teleport out of there. The fastest way to get here is by using the Obel Disc in a POH or by using the Burning Amulet and going to the Lava Maze. So once you're out here uh, or just teleport to level 44 Wilderness using the Obel Disc, enter the cage here with the Lesser Demons and there's a ladder. There are some poisonous spiders down there and a lever. So once you pull that, you'll enter into KVD's den. Make sure you drink your potions, set your quick prayer to Mealy and Piety if you have that, and just go to town on KBD. Um, after each kill, you don't have much time. It's about an eight second timer till KBD spawns back. So just heal up, loot up if you want. You can bring a bone crusher if you don't want to pick up the bones. They're not that expensive, about 2K each. So you can get some passive uh, prayer XP from that. And I'm not picking up the hides at all. Uh, it's just not worth it. You could bring a looting bag, 
But I mean, we're looking at AFK here, guys. We're just trying to get the pet so we can flex on our friends. So don't bring a looting bag. At the end of the trip, I got 17 kills. And this took me about 23 minutes. So I'm thinking you can get an average of 40 to 45 kills an hour while AFK and KBD, which is pretty solid. The loot was 400k. So you could expect, I would say, 1 mil an hour if you're picking everything up, but you're not going to be. Again, uh, you could be breaking even on him. You could actually come out and profit depending on some of the drops that you get. But again, we're looking for the pet, boys. This one is the most expensive method, and that's AFKing Sharachnus. For this, you will need full Justicar, as this is going to reduce the damage we'll be taking significantly. The Ring, Ring of Suffering, Brimstone Boots, Borrow's Gloves, the Ellie Spirit Shield, a Blessing, Fire Cape, Fang, and the Blood Fury. This setup is going to cost about 800 mil right now, and do bring two Super Combat Potions, 8 to 10 Prayer Pots, the rest of your inventory should be Teleports, food, and some runes for High Elking. So once you're here in this gear, set your Quick Prayer to Pray Mage and Piety, as our Mage defense in this gear is just awful, so we'll have to tank the rest of the hits while just praying Mage. Pot up and head inside. The fight here is fully AFK. There are two points where Seracnus does spawn two spawns. It's a mage and a melee minion, which the character will auto-retaliate and kill usually. At the end of each fight, you should heal up. My best kill time here was a minute and 44 seconds, and the longest one was 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So just keep make sure you're uh, staying potted. I think that was my problem. I got 12 kills in about 30 minutes, netting you about 18 to 24 kills an hour, I would say. And the total loot was 300k that I picked up, obviously. And I used 291 charges on my Blood Fury. Wait, 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 don't leave. There is an alternative method to this setup, and that's switching out the Fang and the Ellie for the Din's Bulwark. Keep everything else the same. This setup will cost you about 98 mil, and you can expect similar results, obviously with less kills an hour, because you are switching out your weapon. Or a big freaking door shield. Strange, but you know what? It works. Uh, the first kill here, I was taking a lot more damage for some reason. I did have to pay a bit more attention. And that's just healing up and drinking some prayer pots. These were a little bit longer fights. Lasting between two and a half minutes to three minutes. And we got eight kills on this trip. In about 25 minutes. So just under 30 minutes. So potted the entire time. But yeah, I would say conservatively 15 kills an hour. But just remember this is completely AFK while regearing and everything. Our last AFK boss does require 87 Slayer, and that's the Kraken. For this, I suggest bringing some mage defense and offensive gear as the Kraken uses typeless attacks, which means the overhead prayers have no effect. I brought an arcane shield, seer's ring, eternal boots, borrows gloves, the occult, a blessing. For your mage weapon, I would use the trident, which is a little pricey when you have to charge it. As far as one Zol Zolra scale, death rune, chaos rune, and five fire runes per charge. Alternatively, you could bring some budget gear as seen here with the God Book and the Mystic Robes, but once you have 87 Slayer, I feel like you should have enough GP to afford most of the setup. Maybe not the Arcane Shield, so you could switch that out for a God Book, but everything else is relatively cheap. And the fastest way to get here is by using Fairy Ring code AKQ. So I use the Fairy Ring in my POH and head west towards the cave. Once you're here, you can enter the private room for 25k, which I strongly recommend you do, or a public room where you may have to hop around a bit to find an empty world, and that gets pretty annoying, especially if you're going to do AFK. Uh, your items do last longer on the floor when you are in a private room versus a public room. Um, bring four prayer pots, 
fishing explosives, teleports, runes for high alking. And once you find an empty world, turn your auto retaliate off. That's a big thing because you don't want to keep fighting his tentacles and wasting your charges on your staff. Throw the fishing explosive into the world pool and your character will automatically fight the Kraken until it's dead. Each trip, I usually did between 30 and 50 kills, depending if I got food drops such as sharks and edible seaweed, wicked helpful. And I actually followed this exact method, and that's how I got my Kraken pet at 2600 KC. So good luck. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge shout out to Alan at OSRS Bricks for partnering with me and my channel. Be sure to check them out, and I'll put some information down below in the description. That's osrsbricks.com. Use code TKT for 5% off your entire order.